Young men aren't having sex. Correct! So if you weren't aware, Trepang 2 released the other week, and for anyone that's played the game, you know it f***s. And it f***s hard. And for anyone that hasn't played it yet, hopefully this video convinces you to buy it. Quick thoughts on Trepang 2, 5 minutes, let's go, like the video. I'm going to skip over all the in-depth details about the game's development history, the developers, blah blah blah. Go watch G-Man for that. I want to get into the meat and potatoes of this game. The important stuff so you can make a quick decision if you want to buy the game or not. The story, the graphics, and the gameplay. As for the story, you play as John Halo, I mean John Doom, I mean Terry Trepang, and you're pretty much if Doom Guy and the dude from Crisis had a baby. An unstoppable, supernatural, power-wielding maniac that will stop at nothing to get your revenge from the people that betrayed you. <laughs> Break necks, dodge bullets, and explode people into mush as you fight to uncover the secrets of a corporation called Horizon. Horror, action, humor. This game has it all and it wraps it up in a neat little four to seven hour package. Now to some people that might be too short, but I think those people have had their mind warped by the idea that a big game equals good game. People seem to think that a game needs to be 20 to 30 hours long to warrant a purchase. But if you give me a polished, well executed and crafted experience that's like 4 to 7 hours long over a 20 to 30 hour snooze fest that has no real vision or purpose, I'm going to choose the shorter experience every time. Quality over quantity. I can't really say too much about the graphics other than they're absolutely stunning. The lighting in this game is gorgeous and does a great job of applying tone. From the rare occasion where we get to be outside, navigating cultists' mansions, blasting our way through office buildings or even experiencing their take on popular horror media, Trepang 2's lighting is phenomenal, which is only heightened by the game's textures and overall aesthetic. It's not photorealistic, but it's also not glorified Play-Doh either. It's a nice middle ground. And the gun models, mwah, chef's kiss. God damn, these things are nice to look at. And dude, the sound design. Just listen to these shotguns reload. Everything from the weapon animations to how nearly everything around you shatters into small pieces is so wonderfully engineered and a joy to look at and listen to. But enough about that, let's talk about what you really want to know. Is the game actually any good to play? Well duh! Trepang 2 is going to be remembered for a lot of things, but I think the main thing it's going to be remembered for is its moment-to-moment -moment action and how fluid and precise the gameplay and gunplay is. Now you can't ADS like a typical shooter these days, you can with certain weapons but don't bother about them. Other than that, this game is purely firing from the shoulder and it makes the action more impactful and just balls to the wall insane. There's just something so visceral and satisfying about running around with dual spaz shotguns that have incendiary rounds, blasting people in the face and setting them on fire, or turning people into bloody swish cheese with dual vectors, and being able to see everything on your screen because it's not blocked by a weapon sight. You're in the moment. You are Terry Trepang. Shit, if that doesn't float your boat, how about you take the more stealthy approach and use a suppressed block and stick to the shadows? But the main star of the show is the bullet time mechanic that lets you slow down time to dodge bullets and rack up some extra style points. And what I love most about how this mechanic works is that it only refills if you engage in combat by damaging enemies. Great way to keep people fighting and having enemies drop a small amount of armor on death is even more incentive to get in people's faces and blow them off. What did he say? Oh. Killing enemies also gives you a boost to your stamina bar, which does drain very fast if you're not managing your position well, which becomes extremely obvious on the higher difficulties, and don't underestimate how powerful your cloaking ability is. It's going to get you out of a lot of trouble and allow you to flank, trust me. Trepang 2's combat is smooth, precise, and violent. It rewards smart positioning, cooldown management, your aim, and even smart planning in some situations. The combat is smart, 
it's refreshing and it's very player expressive. Just what the fuck? Attention all They'll kill you five times before you hit the ground. But is there anything I don't like about the game? Well, yeah, but they're very minor and they don't have any effect on my overall rating of the game. At the main hub, I don't see any point in having a stamina bar. There's no threat here. This is where I go to equip weapons and try on cute outfits. It's very annoying and inconvenient to run out of stamina all the time. I also get annoyed by how easy bodies flap around when you walk over them. There's a couple points in the game where it's meant to be tense and suspenseful, but if you walk over a body, it flails around everywhere very loudly. Again, very nitpicky, but it annoyed me. Shut up. I've seen a couple of people say they don't like you can only hold two weapons, seeing as in Fear you could hold three. I don't really care. This game is inspired by Fear, yeah, but it isn't Fear. It's its own game. Holding three weapons would make the game no better or no worse. And I kind of feel the same about only being able to hold one grenade type. Would I welcome the change to hold multiple types? Sure, but again, I don't really care. It's not a big deal. And to quickly touch on the combat again, the pacing and flow kind of falls apart in larger levels. Thankfully, those levels are very rare, but as soon as you have to run three kilometers to kill a dude or try and shoot him from across the map, it seems to grind everything to a halt and slow everything down. They're all ready for pickup. The fuck was that noise? All things considered, Trepang 2 is one of the best FPS games you can play at the moment, and it's going to satisfy any itch or crave you have for the genre. It's fast, it's gory, and most importantly, it's fun.